Hey everyone and welcome back to another Unity RPG tutorial. So in this tutorial we're going to be adding a little bit more to our spell system. So in this case we're going to be uh, applying this to a button and we're also going to be making it so we can display a tooltip when we're hovering over the button that can display the different stats and whatnot from it. So we're just going to go jump back into our code and we're not going to need to add any new variables except what we had before. And we're just going to be setting something up in the onGUI function. And we're just going to be implementing a couple of lines of code in order to uh, implement this system. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is creating a rectangle, which is going to act as our hover over uh, button feature. So while we're actually hovering over the button, um, it'll detect that our mouse is within this region, which is going to be placed over the button. Since the button does have a tooltip built in, but for what we're trying to do, I want to actually draw a texture behind and be able to do different stuff with maybe drawing um, different textures and whatnot in this uh, spell area. So I'm just going to be using my own custom uh, rectangle for that. So pretty much I just made it the, the same size and position as my GUI button which uh, we're just going to be using the GUI button to tell which spell we're going to be activating. In the future, we're going to be creating an array of buttons for our action bar where we can actually drag and drop uh, the different spells that we want into these locations and set up some keybinds. But just for testing, we're just going to set up a basic button just uh, in the lower part of the screen. And from here, we're going to be calculating if our mouse is actually in the rectangle area. So it's going to be just checking if our mouse is over the button or within that area. And if it is, then we're going to want to trigger the code that's in here. So the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be drawing the texture that we want for the background. Now I'm just using the bars background texture, which is just a blank uh, black texture that we're going to be using just for the background where we can put the stats on top of. Um, yeah, you can use any texture that you want for that if you just set up a normal texture and link it into here. And so in this case, when we draw the texture, we want the position of the texture to be where our mouse position is both for the width and height. And then we can offset it from here. So if you want to display um, this texture a little bit higher than where the button is so that the texture is not cut off by the bottom of the screen because if we display it a lot lower it'll be cut off halfway or part way so pretty much this is just offsetting it and lifting it um, above on the Y and that'll just position it on the screen all the time and then for our GUI label so we're going to be doing the same exact thing where we want to actually position it from the XY of our mouse um, you can offset this a little bit differently if you want it more centered within the texture itself. But we're just going to be placing it pretty much to the left of this area. And we pretty much have that set up to be the same size as well for that. And then from here is where you'd input the different uh, text and whatnot. So I'm just placing it down here just so it's a little bit easier to view. Instead of having it lined up and uh, keep going on we can actually see which one is displaying on each line. So the first thing we want to display is the spell name. So we're going to grab the player spell zero dot name. So pretty much our first spell that's um, in our array for player spells. And we'll grab that stat. And then um, slash n is what's going to make it go down to the next line. So normally if you didn't have this included, all this text would be gathered on one single line. So this will just send it down to the next line. And so we're just going to be doing pretty much the same thing for spell description. Um, gonna be grabbing the description variable from player spells, next line, and then we're going to be doing spell ID just to keep track of the spell ID. Normally we probably wouldn't have this in here. And later we can add in a couple more things that we might want to add, such as um, like more draw textures for the actual spell itself or anything along those lines. If we have upgrades for the spell or anything special, we can add that in as well. But for now, I'm just showing you how to display. So pretty much this is all we need for the tooltip setup. 
And if we go jump into game real quick, we can click on our player and scroll down. And we can set up the first spell to be something different. So we can just name this spell one. Uh, description, maybe fire spell, and then the ID will remain the same like that. So we're not going to do another button in this tutorial, but pretty much all you'd have to do is just take this bit of code, copy it, and change out the different uh, number here for the array. So it would be set to 1, 1, 1, and 1 in here for which spell you're calling. But yeah, with keybinds in the future, we're going to have to change that up just slightly. So if we jump in game, I'll show you guys how this is set up. So right now we just have one button and when we scroll over it, you can see that it displays the black background spell, spell name is spell one for the first spell in the array and then fire spell and spell ID zero. And then when we click it, it tells us that we use spell one. So this is a different setup than actually, let's see here, that was kind of weird. Um, my mouse might have been off there for a second. But anyways, um, yeah, in the future we can actually keybind these different things. So if we create an actual array of buttons and we display all the buttons on here with um, whatever spells we attach to it, we could go in and set each one of these buttons to be referenced. Um, so depending on which button we press on the keyboard, we can keybind that. And depending on which one we press is going to be a different spell. But for now, this is a basic way just to set up a button and reference the actual spells and display it within a tooltip. Um, so in the future, yeah, we'll be adding a lot more advanced stuff, but for now, this is just a basic setup. So until next time, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.